James Graham, 2011 uh, Golden Boot nominee. How does it feel to be uh, up for such a great award? Yeah, I mean, it's nice getting nominated, but to be honest, it's more about uh, winning for England. And individual awards don't really bother me. Um, more about trying to win stuff as a team. And I'd give it to Ollie anyway. I think he's been outstanding. The hot dog. The hot dog. Give it to all. Hot dog. Uh, the way he's finished them tries, second to none. I'd probably give it Golden Wonder Award because you're like a big giant pot noodle stood out on there in the ring. <laughs> I'll come up with that one, Jordan. Do you not think one day you'll end up in back row from uh, or playing prop? Which size are Yeah, well, uh, I don't know. Possibly. Um, there's some big wingers out there still uh, keep going on, so it's not just about uh, going to the middle outside. One of the nominees for the Golden Boot Award, how's it, how's it feel to be uh, nominated for such a prestigious award? Um, it's good. You know, I wanted to even even be mentioned for it. Um, some good players in there, so yeah, just, just happy to be amongst them. And you're a big collector of trainers, aren't you? You're telling me you've seen some of my uh, not so good trainers and uh, <laughs> mentioned the fact that you collect some pretty special ones. You've got a big collection, haven't you? Yeah, I do. Um, you know, I've got plenty of trainers at home. Big collection, kindly. A lot of them given to me by Nike. Um, but I think. Uh, I think a golden boot would be, be better than all of them. What's your favourite uh, set of trainers? What's the, what's the best ones, your prize ones at the minute? Prize ones? Uh, too many. I'd probably say I've got some uh, black and purple Ermax ones with my name stitched in. They're pretty special. He <laughs> 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 never flinched. <laughs> Do you not think it'd be cool like, if the winner won it or won it had to wear golden boots for the whole of the year after? Uh, I think I'd probably pass on like that. the Tour de France? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yellow jersey? It wouldn't, wouldn't be the best with me. I think it might clash with my hair colour, so I'd uh, probably try and have a shocker if that was the case. I think that'd uh, actually go hard. Do you not think it'd suit your goal? You've got quite a unique golden hair, haven't you? Uh, it'd be like uh, playing snap, wouldn't it? Me, <laughs> me, me head would match me boots. But uh, no, I think I'd deliberately try and have a shocker if that was the case, Jonesy. It reminds me of uh, Rumpel Stiltskin a little bit. Have you ever seen uh, Rumpel Stiltskin in <laughs> Forever After? <laughs> Looks a bit like Ben Kikin. No. Have you seen it? I've not actually, no. I, thi I think I know who you're on about. I've seen like a picture of it, but I've not seen the film now. Eh? He, uh, his hair changes colour to red when he gets angry. You don't get mad much, though, do you? No. I get no. mad sometimes when I play. Pretty relaxed, just... Like everything's like water for ducks back if something goes wrong or whatever. I'm just pretty, take, th take things pretty easy, I think. You got some uh, special ones, some Back to the Future ones, didn't you? No, oh, he was going to walk some. Ones. Yeah, they had some um, Back to the Future trainers they brought out, but they're a bit too dear for me. They're about five grand a pair, so maybe if I save up. Well, did it, how did it feel to watch uh, Wells well, get beat? Get beat? Drop my phone. What is it? You got some it's a flip cam. cam. What was it like to uh, get watch Wales get beat last week? Get it out of Come here. Come on, talk to me. Get it out of here. I'll talk to you outside of the physio room. Talking of food, you actually like being called a hall dog. That's correct, yeah. What's, hall what's, dog, what's, yeah. what's with the hall dog? Uh, 2007, first senior year, um, I got promoted from the academy side with uh, Matt Ratu, um, who came along with us. He got promoted, and um, you're a bit of a laid back character, with Ratu, and he. Come up with a nickname of Hall Dog. No, obviously I've been there last name Hall, and um, it's been a bit twisted um, along the lines so nowadays. Unfortunately, it's called the people call you Hot Dog. That's right. Yeah. Is that because you're big, long, and brown? <laughs> I think it's more down to eating habits. But, um, I don't like where that's come from, John. So yeah. What's your typical diet? Fish and chips and a bottle of Coke, and liter of Coke, calling it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, pretty much meal. Can't beat a bit of grease. <laughs> what about if thirty-five thousand people turn up on there? Saturday night to watch us against Australia holding inflatable hot dogs in be, support of Ryan Leal. That'd be brilliant, you know, the one thing, you know, leading on to another, but um, to get the 35,000 there it, yeah, in, in, a, in the first place would be, you know, unbelievable. But all supporting uh, the hot dog cars, that'd be brilliant.